Hi, I'm Courtney Thomas. I'm a PhD candidate in the chemistry department. I work with Dr. Jeffrey Zink, and I've been working with CEIN for four years. I work right now with designing and developing different nanomaterials for applications and studying the toxic properties. And we can use those materials for a number of different things. One is to look at what impacts do nanomaterials have on the environment, but also to do some helpful things like deliver drug molecules. So some of the work that I do deals with delivering cancer drugs, and there are a number of reasons that we want to do that. Mainly when patients have to take chemotherapy, they get really sick. And so if we can develop ways where patients can have lower doses, it's going to be very beneficial for them. So one way that we can do that is by using different nanomaterials. And we can generate heat with those nanomaterials when they're in a magnetic field. But one problem is that when you use heat to kill a cancer cell, it can metastasize. And so now you can have tumors that spread across your body, which is bad for a whole host of different reasons. And so something that we've developed is a way that we can use heat in short bursts so that we're not generating enough to kill a cancer cell, but to deliver a therapeutic agent like a cancer drug just to the cells that we want them to be delivered to. So we're starting to develop these nanomaterials that have very beneficial applications, we think, but one of the things that we haven't investigated is how are they going to come in contact with the environment and will that create any problems? And so my research helps to develop what we call a library of nanomaterials, or nanomaterials that we vary one characteristic of the nanoparticle so that we can start to look at what properties of the materials are toxic and then can we redesign the materials so that they have the properties that we want that will be beneficial for some particular application, but they won't be toxic when they come in contact with the environment. The way that a lot of research labs work is that you're very insular. You do your research, you do the characterization, and all of the methods you do yourself. And if you're working with collaborators, you tend to hand off your samples and then wait until they get back to you. And the great thing about the center is a lot of the research is all being done in the same lab. So in the same lab we have policymakers, chemists and engineers, biologists and toxicologists. And when you're working right next to someone and you get to see what they're doing firsthand and ask questions about what is this experiment or what do these answers tell you, you learn things in a way that you would have no opportunity to do, to do so otherwise. So I've been really fortunate to be doing my graduate studies in Southern California where the weather is beautiful almost year round. And so I try to take advantage of as many outdoor things as I can. I really like hiking. I'm pretending to learn how to surf. I like photography and so taking as many trips as I can out. And then on those few days a year that it's not so nice or cloudy, so most of the month of June, I really like to cook. And so I will go into the kitchen and see what new things I can come up with.